In this video, we are going to see how to send Facebook group posts to Telegram channel. So let's say you're using Facebook groups to just share your post and here every time there is a new post you want this particular message to be shared on telegram as a new message now how can you do that for this you will have to integrate these two applications and the same can be done using public connect software here your trigger application would be facebook and your action application would be telegram and you can automate this entire process now how can you do this yourself to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on this sign up tab. It will not take more than two minutes. And here at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And once done, it will take me to the All Apps page. Since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on Access Now. So finally here we have reached the dashboard of this application and let's click on Create Workflow. Now here my objective is to send Facebook group posts to Telegram channel. So I'm going to name it as Facebook group posts to Telegram. And now I'm going to click on create. So here finally this particular window has appeared which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. So trigger is basically how your workflow will start to work and action is the response to it. Here my trigger application would be Facebook groups. So this is my application. And once I'm here, now I have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is basically the event that will make your workflow start. So here I'm going to select new post. So every time there's a new post, it should start to work. Now let's click on connect. So here I have already logged into my Facebook account and Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Facebook groups account. For this, let's click on add new connection and connect with Facebook groups. So since I've already logged in, I'll just have to authorize it and it is done. So now once done, I'm going to come down and I have to select the group. So for this, I'm going to take you to my Facebook account. So here, this is my Facebook account. And here you can see that I have already got a lot of groups. I'm going to click on this. And these are the different groups that I have. Let's say that I wish to write a post on this Pabli team group. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to select the group as Pabli team. So once done here, I'll have to select a limit. Basically, I will have to enter the limit of new posts to be fetched on each execution. Now this should be usually more than 10 for better results. But right now, since I'm just doing a test run, I will limit this as one. So now I'm going to go to Facebook to write a post and publish it to see if we are receiving the response. Basically, if we have been able to connect Facebook group and Pabli Connect thoroughly. So now I'm going to take you to my Facebook group. And now here I'm going to click on Pabli team. And then here you can see that uh, we can write a post. So here I'm going to create a new post. And let's say the post is Pabli Connect receives an award. And now here I also wish to add a picture. So I'm going to go here and add this picture. So once done, I'm going to click on post. So once this post is published, yes, here you can see that the post has been published. Now, once this is done, going back to Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And then as I scroll down here, you can see that we have received the API response. This is the message Pabli Connect receives an award. And then this is the created time. Then if I come down, so this is the Primalink URL. Basically, if you will go and copy this, go to a new tab and paste it over here. So here you can see. So this is basically our Facebook page URL. If I take you back here and this is the picture URL. So if I'm going to copy this and if I go here and paste it here, 
and then press on enter so here you can see that we have received the image url so we have received this api response now i wish that this response should be shared on my telegram account so my next application here would be telegram let's click on this once done the action event would be here i want to send a text message so i'm going to click on this and click on connect so once done here public connect is asking to connect itself with the telegram bot account let's click on add new connection and here it is asking for the token now to get this token first we will have to go to our telegram account and here we have to look for bot father let's click on this and restart bot so now to create a new bot i have to type slash new bot and now i'm going to click on enter as soon as i do this here it is asking me to choose a name for my bot so let's say i say facebook group okay this is the name of my bot so let's say the name is facebook one two three four underscore bot and let's click on enter as soon as I do this, here you can see that our bot has been created and you can find this on this particular link. And then we have the token. So I'm going to copy this token over here. Copy this. Go back to Public Connect and paste it over here. Once done, let's click on Save. So here we can see that this connection has been set up and now we need the chat ID, the text message. For this, I'm going to go back to Telegram and here, first of all, the bot that we have created, let's click on this. And now this is the Facebook group bot. Now here, I'm going to start a conversation. Let's say it is high so that this can be visible on the chat here. Now I here have to create a new group. So let's say this new group is... Uh, who would you like to add? So I would like to add Pabli Demos and then I would like to add uh, Testing and now also Facebook group, the board that I have just created. So this is the board and now I'm going to click on Enter. Once done, I have to name it. My I have to name my group. So I'm going to write Facebook group new. So this is the name of my group. Let's click on Enter. And as soon as we do that here, we can see that the new group has been created. Now, if I show you the four members, so these are the four members. Okay, this is the owner, Pabliti is the owner and we have our bot as Facebook group. Now, our objective is that uh, this bot is to be promoted as the admin and you can do that easily through your phone. So now I'm going to do the same. So here I have already promoted my bot as the admin, so I'm going to put across and here and now if I show you this so this is the chat ID you can see this number this is the chat ID I'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste it over here along with this hyphen so once done this is the text message now what is the message that I wish to share so here I'm going to map the data so this is the message public connect receives an award and do I want to disable notifications? I can always say yes or no. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as soon as this is done, here you can see that we have received the API response. The result is Public Connect receives an award, which basically means that the same message should have been displayed on the group that we have just created on Telegram. So I'm going to take you to my Telegram account. And here you can see that Facebook group has posted Public Connect receives an award. So this means that this integration process is a success. Now I'm going to check it in real time. So I'm going to go back to my Facebook account. So here I am and I'm going to post another, like I'm going to write another post. So here let's say Pabli Connect wishes you a great day ahead. This is my message. I can also share a picture, but as of now, it's okay. I'm just going to click on post. Once this is published, if I take you back to Public Connect and I go up, 
Here you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So this workflow will run after every 10 minutes and then only it will fetch the data. So now we are supposed to wait for 10 minutes so that we can receive this message on our Telegram group. Going back to Telegram, let's check if our message has been received. So I'm going to refresh this page. So here you can see that yes, we have received the message. Pabli Connect wishes you a great day ahead, which basically means that this integration process is a success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and check what we have done so that we can understand this process better. This is a very simple two-step integration process where our trigger application was Facebook groups and our trigger event was new post. Then the action application was Telegram bot and the action event was send a text message or a reply HTML. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. This is the same workflow that we have worked on. And then you can also clone this and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.